Now, stakeholders in the power sector are brainstorming ways to improve generation in the country. At the one day policy dialogue, it was organized in Abuja by the Natural Justice and S Justice, with support from the Environmental Lawyers Collective in Nigeria. The initiative aims to address critical issues hindering improved, efficient, and affordable power generation. Several states, including Enugu, Lagos, Edo, and Rivers, have taken the lead by establishing state owned electricity power stations. While these initiatives are exciting, Stakeholders believe that for Nigeria to achieve energy security, certain regulatory and organizational measures need to be put in place. This was emphasized by Michael Karibo, the country manager of natural justice, in his briefing to the press. We have started witnessing uh, incoherencies changes. and uh, a little bit of difficulties around uh, how to do this thing. How do you build a clear process that clearly incentivizes investment? Nigeria requires at least, and this is expert opinion, $10 billion every year to maintain the current level of power supply. If you require ten billion dollars for the electricity sector, it means that you have to get investments, both domestic investments and international investments. If the regulatory, the legal and regulatory frameworks are right, the investors will come. In his presentation, Professor Sam Amadi, former chairman of the National Electricity Regulatory Commission, suggested ways that will make power generation and distribution in Nigeria seamless and affordable for both the citizens and the government. So I could create the electricity sector, uh, electricity laws, and regulators, but there are many dangers and risks that these laws can actually cause more trouble for the states if they don't factor several factors. So the element paper I, I, I did focus on what should the regulatory landscape look like? What, how should the state set up their regulators in a way that they do not create conflict with bureaucrats, ministries? From experience with NEC and experience global what are the best practices? We, we outline that. Secondly, we look at also the establishment of the electricity market at state level. What's the best framework to ensure that that market connects easily to the national market and connects to, to the state, other state markets? And we argued for maybe a regional grid that will be, uh, you know, regionalizing the transmission so that states can have that will be interstate trading. On his part, the representative of the Cross River State Commissioner on Power and Chairman Forum of Commissioners on Power, Prince Eka Williams, Emmanuel Tim, said the theme of the event is apt as it is coming just after the President signed the Nigeria Electricity Act into law. Now, for us to take a look at issues as states in Nigeria look forward to achieving efficient and viable electricity market. Nigeria's new decentralized electricity market regime opens up exciting opportunities, but also comes with challenges, especially for states being new players in the sector. We must focus on creating an institutional framework that supports efficient and viable state electricity markets. In Crossroads State, we have taken steps to address these challenges. The state has taken strategic steps to not only develop the electricity market, but also create institutional design for efficient and viable markets. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.